Hello friends, today's small group activity, we're going to work on using scissors. So bring your scissors and some paper and markers and come on. All right friends, so today we are going to be cutting with scissors. Now, a couple of rules before we get started. When you are handling scissors, you always want to point them down. So never hold them pointing out like this. So you always want to hold them, hold them down. Okay. And you also never want to walk around or run with a pair of scissors because you could get seriously hurt um, if you fall and the scissors go into you or something. So let's not have any accidents. So, all right. So when we cut, we are going to go slowly so that you can make sure that all your fingers are out of the way. So when you cut your paper, there's a piece of paper here, guys. When you get your paper, you want to hold your scissors so the thumb goes in the top and your whatever finger is comfortable for you. I usually use the middle finger and kind of place my pointer finger on the front just to stabilize the scissors. So when you cut, you want to cut slowly so that you make sure that your fingers are out of the way. Okay. And you always want to watch what you're doing. You can't be cutting going around like this because your line or whatever you're cutting is not going to look like what you wanted it to look like. Okay, so watch what you're doing. Pay attention. Don't worry about anything else going on. Um, so, you know, when you first give a child scissors, let them decide which hand they're more comfortable with. Um, it's the same with writing. We don't want to um, push one hand or the other. Um, they will find that dominant hand. They will figure it out. So just let them decide um, and then give them a piece of paper to cut. Um, a lot of times cardstock is easier to cut um, just because it's a little thicker in the, in the um, like some of the cheap scissors will not, will not cut like though it'll like slide on it. So Cardstock is a good, a good choice to um, cut like when you first start. So also what you can do is take a marker and I'm just going to use this highlighter and then you can draw a straight line. You can see that and they can cut the straight line and then you can do like a curved line and have them um, run their finger on it and then try to cut it so that they're more um, familiar with how it goes. So um, that is basically it. Um, for starters, you may want to hold the paper um, put you may put it at the edge of the table and then hold hold the paper still so it's not moving until they um, learn to hold and cut at the same time. Um, that works. Um, you can also there's a variety of like specialty scissors that you can get. Um, you could ask your teacher. Um, about any of those, if those are available. Um, like I said, construction paper 
or cardstock is probably easy, going to be the easiest to um, cut to start with because like I said, the, the cheaper scissors tend to slip, it seems like, on the thin like copy paper. So work, do what works best for you. If regular paper cuts just fine, that's perfect. Um, but just, you know, cutting is an important skill um, to learn um, at early age. I know, you know, in kindergarten that they, they do a lot of cutting and pasting type activities and crafts and things like that. So it's an activity that you... Um, Want your child to learn so but just remember to enforce the safety rules so that they don't get hurt all right that is it for our video today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe